Welcome back to Morning Mix. 2023 will be a year for travel after we went through just so many years of restrictions. I spoke with Katie Nastro, going spokesperson and travel expert, and she told me the best travel destinations for this year. Take a look. I'm joined with Katie Nastro. She's the company spokesperson and travel expert with going. Thanks so much, Katie, for speaking with me today. Thanks so much for having me. Yes, ma'am. So after countries reopened borders after years of COVID closures, so many people are back on the roads. They're taking trips, both domestic and international. What are some of the hottest travel destinations for 2023? Sure, you know, so I think just something to mention is that the cost of travel overall, the uh, cost of airfare in general, has been decreasing the past seven out of the last eight months. So we actually anticipate that it will continue to drop as there are more flights added to schedules and, and airlines, you know, kind of ramp up and try to get back to the volume that they had uh, previously before the pandemic. So that's that's a first tip of a little bit of good news for travelers out there looking to, to get out and explore. And so, you know, um, first things first, there are so many destinations around the world and, you know, any travel is good travel. Um, you know, there's not one particular place in general that w is better than the other. So if you you have somewhere that's been on your bucket list forever and you're finally looking to get out there just go for it is our biggest piece of advice um, but some places that we do love and we are promoting in 2023 at going um, first would be dublin you know the emerald isle has a great exchange rate. There are lots of nonstop flights from the east coast of the US over to Ireland specifically to Dublin as well as uh, Shannon and, you know, once you get there, um, it's, again, relatively cheaper because of the exchange rate, as well as it's a super easy country to drive across in half a day. So say you land in one airport and then you want to see the other side of the country. Just hop in the car. Um, you know, budget airline uh, Norse has actually been expanding its schedules. So we are going to see more cheap flights to Dublin, and we already have. Um, but yeah, keep your eyes on Dublin for the summer months as well as any other time of the year. And definitely pack a raincoat. <laughs> um, <laughs> New York's, yeah. New York City also, you know, is really back in action. And all the great things that we love about New York Broadway is back, restaurants are bustling you know, full houses. And, you know, thankfully, there are always cheap flights because there are three different airports that you can fly into at any time of the year. And, you know, right now, before coming on, I did a quick check. And from Augusta, you can actually go round trip for 138 nonstop on a full service airline. That's not a budget airline. That's a full service like a United, a Delta, an American. So 138 is, is a, a great price. And if you're flying out of Charleston or Atlanta, even cheaper. Wow, good information right there. I feel like a lot of our viewers are probably going to check that out and take a trip to New York. Um, let's buff some myths right now. Usually you hear, you know, you should buy a ticket on Tuesday or Thursday or wake up in the middle of the night and check at 2 or 3 a.m. Is this true? When is the best time to look and purchase a ticket? You know, the myths are so funny. You know, Tuesday at 2 p.m., you're going to get the best price on your airfare. That is just not true. Maybe that was true 25 years ago when airlines used to load up all of their flight schedules and, and tickets for, for the week or, or months. But that's just not the case anymore. And so, you know, there while there's no cheapest day to book a flight necessarily, there are cheaper days to travel. And that could be a Tuesday, a Wednesday, or a Saturday. So if you kind of schedule out your trip around those days, you have the more likelihood of finding a cheaper fare if you travel on those days. Mondays and Fridays are typically business traveler days. So, you know, they want to start their week in some location and then they want to end their week back at home. So airfare tends to be a bit higher on those days. So something to consider. Um, and, you know, there are th there's this concept what we love to talk about when figuring out when's the best time to book your travel and that's called a goldilocks window and so it's don't book too soon but don't book last minute you know the last thing you want to do is wait until the day before the week before and pray that you're going to get a cheap flight that's just unfortunately not how it works now domestically if you're looking to travel we we say one to three months out in a non-peak season so you know maybe the spring maybe the fall that's one to three months domestically. If you're looking to travel in a peak season, say the summer, that's definitely a peak season for most, um, you know, because of summer vacations, 
look to book three to seven months out. And, you know, that could be a wide range, but it actually just gives you the most or the most likelihood of finding a great deal if you're looking within that time frame. Now, that's not to say that after three months, you're not going to be able to find a deal, but you just have the best likelihood of finding a deal domestically three to seven months out if you're looking in a peak season. Now, if you're looking to fly internationally, it's a bit more. So for a non-peak season internationally, you want to look for um, two to eight months. And then if you're looking for a peak season, four to 10 months. So just a little bit more on either side if you're looking internationally. So it sounds like people need to plan ahead. That's for sure. Katie, is there anything that people should avoid or know ahead of time before they book that ticket? Yeah, I think something to consider if you're not 100% sure that you want to take that exact flight, but it's such a good deal and you don't want to miss it, just know that flights into and out of the U.S., so it could be an international flight or or it could be a domestic flight, into and out of the U.S., you have a 24-hour rule. So that means you can book your ticket at 8 a.m. and then you have 24 hours until that that um, that ticket basically turns into um, you know a non it's non refundable. So basically, you have 24 hours to get your money back without any questions asked. You can just contact the airline and get that refund. And you know it's it's just basically a, a bit of a saving tool. You know you you see a great deal and you want to make sure you get it. But then again, maybe you see a better deal the next day, or for some reason your your plans change and you can't make it you have 24 hours in your back pocket. Now, just remember, it has to be seven days out. So for those of us who think, oh yeah, I'll book a flight two days before I'm intending to travel and I'll just cancel it. Nope, that's not how it works. <laughs> um, specifically for your ticket type, it, it does depend if you're booking two days out. But for any ticket type, 24 hours into and out of the US, seven days out from when you're looking to travel, at least. All right, great advice and tips as we book those trips for our 2023. Katie, where can people go for more information? Go to going.com. We have tons of info. We have guides. And of course, we have great deals at all times of the year. They're constantly coming in. And, you know, sign up for our deal alerts. They go straight to your inbox and it's to your dedicated airport of preference. Katie Nastro with Going. Thanks so much. Thank you. All right. And I've always said that if you're traveling more than three or four times a year by flight, mm -hmm. it's probably wise to get on to one of these one of these plans. Right. And Let you just have to keep your eye mm -hmm. on them, too, because they have good deals. I mean, we currently have someone right now that works here in Norway through using Going. Yep, exactly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Isn't that crazy? Save that money. Yeah.